this is a, a demo application in Silverlight, okay. and um, it's made by Microsoft. And some of the comp well, lots of the components used in this one, um, and how they develop this is also available for download, and you can go on Coldplex and download some of the controls. Okay. Um, but let's just launch the application, the sample application, using some custom Silverlight controls. It consists of three parts. So first, I'm logging in as the secretary for a doctor's office. Okay. Right. So there's a few doctors uh, that I can see planning for a few of the doctors. I can see my email. Uh, email box here. So this is sort of a we call this a line of business application. Okay. Not a, not a, uh, a front front end uh, public website. Sure. It's, it's more like a application. I can switch and I can go. Maybe search for um, one of the patients, uh, Mr. Brian, and uh, let's just drag him here and maybe have some reason why he should go to the doctor. Okay, test. Okay, um, and I can just have more details, less details, showing how you can control this. Now, going to the second part, I'm uh, going as if I was a doctor, going into. downloading a second application to the light. Okay. And now I'm the doctor. Okay. And so I can see uh, Mr. Brian Johnson is, uh, has an appointment with me and I can see my own email. Okay. I can uh, recording again. I can have the possibility to uh, go and Okay. A few, a few of them are really demo material, yeah, sure. right? So uh, let's let's go look at uh, Mr. Johnson, and I just double clicked, and I'm opening his personal file. Okay. So I can see what has happened in the past. I can open up, read read some of the details, and scroll like this, or so a new cool. way of scrolling, if you wish. I have the same here. Have more detail, less detail. Um, I can go here, here and see some of the non heart rate monitor. It's not heart rate monitor. It's, it's, I'm not a doctor. I don't know exactly what it's doing. Some kind of scale. Some kind of uh, data that we have uh, collected. Um, it might be useful for a real doctor. <laughs> right, right. So, um, and so I can also just enlarge each of the parts. Switch and, and, and in this one I can add several charts and compare and have some interactive information. I can even submit some information in here. Let's just uh, not to make it too long. Let's launch the secondary care demonstrator where we will have some examples of uh, interaction. So, three separate examples, three set separate demos. Okay. Um, it's because it's a demo application. It does take some time to load because all the data is loaded oh, okay. into the it's application. It's not dynamic. Right. In this case, it's not really going each time to the database, checking the, the patient data. It's really sure. It's, it's loading it all at once. Right. Yeah. Just because we want to have a demo that's working um, okay. inside. inside. Um, so here I can. Uh, I can also have, okay, click on it. Oh, there's someone messaging me into okay. inside the application, so another doctor. And I can go and watch live wow. ECG. And some of them, there's, I go further. I can go sort of a, a zoom in also. Zoom, yeah. This, is, this one is not using deep zoom. Wow. So these are then reports that we have uh, uploaded into the system mm -hmm. and in which we're using a technology called DeepZoom, right. which allows you to use, for example, using your mouse, zoom in, zoom in and go into the details of the chart. And 
Yeah. Oh, and it recognizes uh, the, the pattern there? Yeah, so th this is a, a section that we have highlighted. Uh, so it means as a developer in DeepSum, using DeepSum, you can really interact using Silverlight and your DeepSum images. Okay. DeepSum images have, you can go into images in very high resolution, generate a DeepSum version of it, yeah. and then interact with it. Okay. Uh, there's actually, for DeepSum, um, let's see if you want some demo on DeepSum. But this is, this is really a line of business application that shows controls, that shows interaction, and that shows different roles of, for example, healthcare in this case. Okay. This and this is all written in Silverlight? This is completely in Silverlight. Silverlight yes. 2 or 1? 2. 2, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so and one. they're all, uh, is it all custom controls or is it? Um, there's a lot of custom controls. So if we go to the main website, um, I should go to the home. There's a lot of information on how this is built. On firstly, the guidance. Okay. Also, some of the controls. And some of the controls are, uh, so, so there's also a WFDF version of the controls created okay. because Silverlight is a subset of WPF, so, sure. so you also use XAML, you use, use the same basis, but it's a subset so you can do less in Silverlight. Right. The difference is it's online, uh, it's in the browser. And yeah. the top, you want to know the top um, feature of Silverlight for me? Sure. It's that you have .NET on the browser. Right, yeah. That's, that's and that you can yeah. develop in VB and C Sharp and that you have, of course, everything around .NET that you're used to. Uh, Visual Studio. Okay, you have another tool which is called Blend for, um, for des designers yeah, design. and developers, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, what else can I show you? So, a few of these controls are online on CodePlex, a few are just explained, but it should give a lot of guidance as well into how, how to build line of business applications. In this case, really focused on health. So, they're developing this for life, for real. Okay, th yes. this is used uh, for, for... This is a sample, uh, the one that we saw, yeah. but it's being implemented uh, okay. by the UK, oh, that's in this great. case, for real, real operations. operations. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So. Um,